or the fill-in star, hopefully Chris Kelso. Good morning, everybody. You are listening to The Price of Business. I am Chris Kelso, filling in for Kevin Price. And our first guest is a topic that I absolutely love. Chaya Hendrick, she is with uh, Smart Metric. Chaya, how are you doing? Oh, good morning. How are you? Doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you. So I have a question for you. Let, let's talk a little bit about Smart Metric, who you are, and what you do. Okay. Well, Smart Metric, we're a technology company. Uh, we were founded in, uh, in uh, 2002, which seems like, uh, uh, like an eternity away. Um, it's taken us over a decade to, to achieve the mission and the goal that we set out to do, which was take a fingerprint scanner, which people are familiar with if they travel to airports around the world, uh, taking uh, scans of fingerprints or uh, more, more recently uh, the fin- fingerprint scanner found in Apple phones and Samsung phones, reducing that down and putting it into a credit card to make a safer um, and a more protected credit card against fraud. Now, you and know, it's taken us over a decade to achieve this, but we have achieved it. Now, you know, and, and fraud is absolutely prevalent in today's marketplace. If you look and see what's going on in regards to fraud with credit cards, with IRS, et cetera, et cetera, fingerprint scanning is really the way with the future to try to prevent a lot of that going forward when you're paying or when you're filing your taxes, when you're doing anything associated with a financial transaction, correct? Well, absolutely. Um, fraud in, in the United States on, around credit cards, the... the um, the, 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 the cold figure is the, 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 this is $8 billion last year lost in credit card fraud. But the actual figure is actually many, many times that. Um, there's a company called LexisNexis that uh, puts out a, uh, out a survey once a year called the true co- cost of fraud. And what it does is analyze what is the actual cost to a retailer um, for a fraud incident. Um, and it goes way beyond the actual money stolen out of a person's bank account. Um, it's uh, anywhere from five to ten times multiples. So you can see how that the the effect on the economy and and the flow on cost actually that every consumer is absorbing in there at retail and the cost of goods and services. Because at the end of the day, um, this is a markup that uh, that uh, that uh, retailers and and deliverers of services add on to the cost of their goods and services, uh, the consumer is paying a huge amount, multi-multi-billions of dollars each, each year for, for this fraud. So what, by, by adding biometric protection down to the credit card, we are, we are, we are bringing, bringing uh, the credit card um, in, in, in security in, in, into the modern age uh, and not having to rely upon um, 40-year-old PIN number technology. Um, uh, so, so this is what we set about to do. We knew that, um, that the fraud was going to be a huge ongoing issue and, and problem, and it would only get worse. Um, and, and reality has proven that. And now we have a product uh, and a method to protect uh, credit cards uh, that, uh, that, uh, that is uh, using the power of biometrics, again, the same as what what people now are used to using on, on their mobile phones. Now, now, how did you miniaturize that fingerprint reader? I mean, what what went into making? Obviously, this is not something that happens overnight. Talk a bit about the development of this and 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 what has gone into it, and to be able to achieve what you got today. Oh, great question! Everywhere we looked at uh, in in this process, from components to circuit boards to assembly, um, required totally new processes, totally new components. Um, you know, we, we, we laugh as a, an engineering company, we, we laugh at uh, how simple it would be to go ahead and make a, uh, an Apple um, iPhone, for instance, uh, because you're dealing with off-the-shelf components. You go to this component supplier, that component supplier, you go then, then to an assembler, and um, whether it's in Asia or wherever, and, and you uh, can knock out your product. Um, pretty simple for, uh, for engineers to do. Um, but when, when you're dealing with a, with, with a product that, to begin with, there are no off-the-shelf components because they're all too thick. Um, they would never fit inside a credit card. For instance, um, the processor um, we, we need to do, a, do, a, do an effective fast scan is a Cortex processor, similar to what you find in the Samsung phone. That 
cortex processor is normally packaged um, um, and it's a quarter of an inch thick. Now, a quarter of an inch thick uh, component would never fit inside a credit card. Right. So we, we, we had to build the components um, for the fingerprint scanner um, from the ground up um, and many trials and errors um, um, dur- dur- during the length of this, this development cycle. Some, some components would uh, go out, out of uh, supply. Other components would come on, on that, uh, that uh, were more effective. Um, but the, 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 again, um, at the end of a decade, we've been able to achieve uh, our goal of, uh, of having this uh, highly, um, highly uh, uh, miniaturized uh, um, complex piece of electronics now being able to fit inside a credit card. The, no, no, the, the, uh, the other issues, um, apart from the components, are simple, simple um, things that people wouldn't realize would be um, mass assembling. Um, the... the um, Assembly technology um, for for putting components onto circuit boards um, is built for for tolerances of components again much thicker than what we're dealing with. So we had to um, uh, um, develop new new techniques, new assembly techniques that would allow for for the mass assembly of, of these components on circuit boards. And then, then you come to the circuit board itself. There's only one place in the globe that we've been able to, with our engineers working with the engineers of the board manufacturer, are able to produce this complex um, two-layer um, board um, in, in thin enough, again, with the components added to it to uh, fit inside the credit card. So everywhere we looked, um, we were dealing with, with hurdles of... Uh, you know, technology uh, hurdles that we had to overcome. And, uh, and um, you know, thankfully, as a company, we persevered, never gave up, and we now are able to uh, give to the world a, a biometric uh, fingerprint scanning technology inside the credit card. That is awesome. You know, and, and one question I've got, uh, and we've got about two minutes left to go here, is, you know, right now, we, we obviously everything everyone's going through right now is the new chips that they're putting inside the credit cards. But I, my, my mm-hmm. thing about that has always been is that still is no different than what we've got right now in regards to the, the, the pin. You still got to put it in with the chip. You still got to do the pin. This is actually something that can truly take away fraud in, its, in the sense that no one can really walk up and use a credit card once you have a, a, a scanner, you know, a fingerprint scanner on there because that actually is the true measure of is that individual real or not. Absolutely, we say you are the key, and um, and you can, and, and uh, it's far better than any other form of uh, verification, whether it's a driver's license picture or or, or, or a pin number. Um, and and by the way, our, our technology is built around keeping the person's fingerprint on the cards to protect their privacy. So there's no central database of the fingerprint. It's your your fingerprint is captured, stored in the card, like again with your your smartphone experience. And it never leaves the card. And your fingerprint um, scan is done in 0.25 of a second. And then it activates that chip that, that people are now familiar with on the chip cards. So without that fingerprint verification a match, that chip will not work. Such, such great technology, by the way. Such great. We are coming up against the end of the show. How can we reach you, if you don't mind? Uh, we have a website, um, www.smartmetric. That's S M A R T M E T R I C dot com. Smartmetric dot com. Now, are y'all the only ones I would imagine that have this available on the market right now? Well, there are there are three companies uh, that we're aware of trying to replicate what we've uh, what we've done. Um, none have been able to achieve the the credit card industry thickness of a credit card. So that which is all very important if banks are to issue the card. Absolutely. Well, that is smartmetric.com. You are tuned into The Price of Business. We have to take a break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.